what's up guys, it's Colin here with Up North Outdoors. Um, before I start this video, I just wanted to thank all of you guys for uh, being patient and kind of waiting for me um, while I've been taking this little break. And I've also want to thank all of you guys for um, all the condolences and everything um, about Michael. Uh, it's really cool how much you guys cared. Uh, that was really cool. Um, but yeah. I haven't been doing absolutely nothing while I've been gone. I've been uh, working on the pipeline and saving up some money here before school starts. And then I've also been making this editing station and spent a lot of money doing this. So I'll show you this real quick and then we'll get into the video because I'm sure you guys don't care about it too much. So yeah, um, I've been working on building this little editing station. I built myself a computer. Brandon and I did it. Uh, got myself some monitors and Pretty, I don't know, I got a pretty sick setup here that I've been working on for a while now. I still need a desk, I'm just using a plastic table for a desk. But uh, yeah, I built a computer. This thing is a beast, let's just say it's... This wall, the whole setup is about three grand, maybe a little bit more um, for the full setup. But the computer itself was probably two something of all the, because like, I bought all the components and put them in herself and Brandon and I did Brandon did most of the putting in I'm not really that good with that stuff but yeah and I got two monitors set up here um that'll make it nice for editing because then I can be editing on this screen and then looking at clips on this screen or vice versa whatever and it's just be slick having the two monitors for doing the editing um got my laptop here still too so when I'm on the road and whatnot I can still edit videos uh and I've got Nice keyboard, mouse, headset setup, and everything like that too. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys a little editing setup and show you guys that I haven't been doing nothing for the channel while I've been on break. Um, I have been working on this, so it's gonna make it a lot more comfortable and easier for me to edit videos and get videos posted more quickly. But yeah, enough about that. You guys probably don't care. You guys probably want to see the truck. So uh, let's get into the video. Well, guys. Today's a sad day and also a happy day. Um, I'm trading the Ford. Um, just can't do it anymore. I've got a guy that's me rolling up here. I'm trading for an F-150, a 5.4, or something I can actually daily get good mileage on, not get tickets. I got another ticket the other day, which I'll make a video on. Another ticket the other day. I'm sick of paying these tickets. I'm sick of having to fix stuff on this all the time and not being able to drive it around in town anymore without getting harassed by cops and sick of being bumpy, not being able to pull trailers and just not having a practical truck. And right now with how things are, I just, I need something practical I can drive. Um, we still got the Jeep off road and do trail videos with and stuff, but he's pulling up right now. Um, he's actually a buddy of mine that I'm gonna be trading it for. Andy, he was in a video before. Uh, it's an F-150, it's a nice truck. So we can take a look at his truck. He's gonna take a look at the Ford and probably gonna try to make this trade work because I need need something a little more reliable something I can something I can daily this is probably the last look we'll ever have at the old F-250 gonna miss the thing and you'll probably let me drive it sometimes but it's probably one of the last time I'm gonna be sitting in the Ford and it's mine I think he's should be pulling up right now there she is Thing is clean. Colin, how's it going? Oh, it's going. Sad day, but I'm excited. Yeah, glad to get rid of this. I'm sick of getting mileage. Yeah. <laughs> Want something to have fun with? Yeah. Well. I always told you if you're ever gonna get rid of it, I'm the first guy to call. Yeah. You know, I know she's been uh, taken care of really well. So, yeah, I've babied her. Yeah, what's well, new since last time I've seen it? Well, it's got a Cummins now. Yeah. Um, five speed. Pop the hood ones. All right. How do you pop the hood on this thing? Oh, well, you're oh, gonna have to right learn here. pretty quick here. It's gonna be your truck. It's gonna be working out a pull lot. It. You gotta, nope. Push it down a little bit. Ah, there, there you go. It's a little short, I'm gonna be honest. Needs more lift, bigger tires. Yeah. I've, 
Maybe another turbo. Yeah, or three. Three more? Yeah. Um, your positive terminal over here is just chilling. Yeah, I don't really believe in tightening them down. Yeah, well, somehow your sub still works, so. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it's got subs. It's probably the nicest thing about the truck, so I got those subs in the back. It's all speakers. matters. You still got the factory jack. I'm sure that's gonna do quite a bit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, factory jack, so if you get broke down, you can still lift this thing up and swap it out with a donut or something. You got a, you got a full-size spare? Um, no, but you could throw a donut in there and it'd be okay. Yeah, I mean, just to limp it home. I'd probably yeah. could, I think I'm going to keep the spare tire off my truck. Yeah, yeah, and just get an adapter. So you can just throw the 5-bolt adapter on there real quick. Yeah, I'll just poke some holes in it with a drill to make it work. Yeah. So, how many questions on mine? I mean... Well, they're even asked. This thing is so clean. Um, how's the motor? Motor? You got a motor rebuilt, right? Yeah, I've got about seventeen thousand on the motor rebuild. Um, essentially, I had it bulletproofed because the five fours are junk. Yeah, so it actually doesn't tick. Yeah, it's got a manifold leak. But yeah, that's not bad though. I no. mean, re I mean, fully rebuilt motor. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, I had a aftermarket grill while. too. It's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, Mazda badge. Yeah, that's cool. It's a Mazda F one fifty. Yep. It's factory. Um, uh, I had it for sale on Facebook. I was asking 16000 but Colin, uh... I mean, I think it's worth more than that. Yeah, I was going to give somebody a good deal. So I'd say my truck's worth a little more than sixteen, but... Yep. I mean, you're my friend, and I figured... I get the discount. Yeah, and it's better to get a truck from somebody that I know and know what they've done to it and stuff than just some random person. And yeah, and, uh, It's got the carbon fiber everything, which is pretty sick. Weight, yeah, redu it's weight reduction. It's actually built free. Clean interior tuner it's pretty sick actually yeah he's pushing 600 horse to the wheels yeah that's crazy 850 to the crank got the sub in the back is the tranny rebuilt too oh yeah the tranny's mint yeah Yo. it's actually got a transmission out of an f-250 in here okay yep. one of the f-250 tritons yeah got the light cubes on there got the light bar in the bumper aftermarket headlights on it you told me because we talked a lot on the phone before this obviously yeah, I know everything yeah about colin it. gave me a call on thursday and he asked what i was doing because he said he was interested in my truck so uh yeah i just made time this afternoon to after getting that last ticket and just after the cop told me he's gonna give me a ticket every time he sees me i need something i can drive i just can't afford to be driving this and paying tickets all the time and yeah in north dakota there's no bumper laws so yeah so you'll be it's kind of a perfect trade because yep. you don't have the laws so you'll be able to You'll be able to drive this thing without getting in trouble, and yep. you don't have as far of drives to make as me. I mean, I'm gonna have to be driving down to Iowa to work on the pipeline. And a little dirty. Can't really be taking this down, but yeah, sorry, I had to take it for one more little rip ski before I got rid of it. You know. What do you think? Take it for a test drive? Yeah, yeah. Probably want to shut the hood a little more. Don't break it. Has she ever been off road? Um, I mean, just what you've seen in the videos a couple times, but nothing crazy. Okay. I don't really. I don't really believe in beating on vehicles. Yep. You know, I, I like to take care of them. Uh, you can just have all the stuff that comes with you too. Uh, yeah, you can just keep what's I don't really need these cowboy boots now that I don't have a big truck anymore, so you can kind of keep the boots. Yeah, so. it would be nice to have a spare. Yeah, I won't need them anymore. I better. You can keep the hat and the water bottle. The, you can keep the, the, sh the bed sheet and the empty drinks. Oh! Mm. Ah! One last cold start, even though it's warm. Yeah, I just drilled my hip on the way up here, trying to get up here with one hand, kind of sucks. Need to fix that. Yeah, I don't know. Transmission's still in good shape? Yeah, I mean, it makes a little rattling, but I think it's just because it's getting broken still. You know? Yeah. <sighs> Gauges that don't work. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean. You don't really need a speedometer and RPM gauge. Yeah, this thing will be just driven on highways mostly, so I'll just... You just kind of follow the speed of everybody else. That's yeah. what I do. And then, I mean, you can kind of just hear and feel when it needs to be... She's got plenty of fuel, shifting. that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely over full. Uh, I figured I'd fill it up for you before we make the trade. Uh, yeah, I've got to drive with this thing. i got to go back to uh, just across the river, yeah. North Dakota. Yep, and I mean, it's you can always switch over to automatic mode too. Okay, well that's always good. I'm not great at a manual anyways, so. Yeah, yeah it's nice to have. I figured I'd keep it in there, so. When I do get rid of it, no one knows how to drive manuals these days. So yeah. I can switch over yeah, to the Yeah, I actually just learned automatic. off a YouTube video, so. On, yeah. the, on the way up, I was doing some research. 
Okay. So, first first time ever, it's going pretty decent. Yeah. You can uh, just keep the pictures of my girlfriend I have up here too. Okay. Pictures I got of Marae, you can just keep them in here. Awesome, yeah, you can keep anything that's in my truck. There's uh, about everything I own stuffed under the tunnel cover right now, so <laughs> I might have to... Um, you can take a couple of things you need, like... Okay. Your pillow and stuff, I don't really I, want that. Yeah, but... my pillow's actually in my truck right now. Yeah, because you just got back from a camping trip, right? I did. Yep, up in northern Minnesota anyways, so... Um, the middle seatbelt isn't buckled or, like, bolted down. Okay, well... Bolted down, so if, like, you ever ride with someone and you just don't really care about them, have them ride in the middle. Have, like, people you care about the most in the passenger seat, person in the middle you don't care as much about. Yeah. So, I'll... that's kind of what I I only do. have one friend, so... Oh, you'll the, be fine then. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Go out in some some fields. Yep. And some other fields. You can put a spray tank in the back and use it as a sprayer. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Well, there's a Cummins. Yeah, that's a. Well, now that I'm part of the Cummins squad. Yeah. Yeah, she rips. She drives a lot better than I thought it would. Um, these 40 tires, 40 inch tires are, I mean, they're not made for off roads. So they handle pretty decent on the highway. Yeah, it, yeah, it looks um, like it. I mean, I sandblasted the chassis, but I just, I kind of ran out of money after I did that. So I just rattle canned it. Cause okay. I have money for paint, you know? Yeah, understandable. But yeah. Okay. Looks nice. Yeah, I think I'll cool. take it. Okay, well, let me take. Um, I'm taking some fluids, but. Yeah, it's fine. Is that just so you don't have to change them? That's just the AC. Oh, okay. Leaking. Oh, yep. the air conditioning oil. Okay, I get it. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, but it's fine. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think it's a big deal. No, it's so it's so. Well, I have some of the fluids on a little dripper, so instead of having to like, you know, once a year change your fluids out, what it does, you it just, just drips it out. So every once in a while, you just add fluids, and you always got fresh new fluids in there. And you don't have to ever have to worry about draining fluids. Yep. Okay. So, you, so I really, I've never changed the oil on this thing, and you probably never will have to change okay. the oil on it because it'll just slowly leak the oil out. You just keep adding, and that'll just refresh new oil into there. Yep. And it looks like you have a uh, a second radiator. Yep. To keep yep. the engine extra cool. Yeah, we've got two radiators in there. Dual radiators. Yep. For, for a rip. Okay. Sounds That's good. Alright. Yep. See what I think about it. First impressions. Seat mover works. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Get a little cold start here. I mean, it's been parked for a little bit now. Yeah, she's she's pretty cool. Yeah. Let, let the glow plugs go. So how many turbos does it have in it? Um, it's actually only got three right now. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Three? Only three. Yeah. Like only four on the phone. 
Yeah, I actually just took one out. Oh, bad I, I, just, I just put one back in my Honda Civic. So. Okay. Okay. That may, I mean, if I could get that back from you at some point. Yeah, I, I can mail it to you. That's okay. that's not a problem. Okay. It's yeah. a it's a eighty millimeter turbo. Okay. Uh, off eBay, actually. Yeah, it's pretty small, but I guess. Yep, work. but uh, all the other ones are one forties. So. Oh, okay, sweet. I mean, those yep. are still kind of on the smaller side, but I think since there's gonna be four of them, I think it should be okay. I should be able to get up to high off speeds, but yeah, that's that should be an issue. Let's, let's take it for a rip. Probably run thirty thousand miles without oil change. Yeah. You want to do. Yeah, but it's all it's all the uh, yeah, the horn works. Ah, yeah. okay. uh, it, it has AC. It does. Man, I'm I'm pretty cold blooded. So I really like vehicles that don't have AC just because of weight reduction and I just don't like being cold. So that's kind of a problem. I'll probably, I, I'll take it out, but I'll, I can live with it, I think. Yeah. I'll end up taking it out. Yeah, I can always unplug that compressor for you if you want. Yeah, so. that'd probably be good if we could do that and get yep. that ripped out of there. So. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. So So if we bomb to this field, is that all right? Yeah. All right, so... Oh, it doesn't like to turn very short. No, oh. but, but when you have to, when you put in reverse, let it sit for a couple seconds and you'll feel it uh, engage. There it is. There she goes. There it is. So a little like, that makes the transmission last longer, right? Yep. It does that little delay and it doesn't hard on it. Yep. It's a smooth shift. There it is. Yep. And you can feel the hubs in the back lock in. Yep. And yep. I kind of can feel it like sloshing around back there. Yep. That's nice. That's the, uh, that's the air locker. Oh, okay. Yep. This is the switch for right here. Yep. Nice, nice. Cool. Well, um, let's get back. Probably get those titles transferred over and make the trade, man, because this would be a perfect daily for me. Awesome. Sounds good. Well, let's get the titles transferred over. Kind of disappointed to see it go. It's a fun build, but I'm interested to see what this sucker can do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm... There's honestly nothing I'm really gonna, even gonna change with this thing probably. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty decent daily driver. Yeah, it, it could use slightly bigger tires, but no, I think I might put some little smaller ones on there actually. Yeah, these are actually oversized already. Yeah, they are a little bit. But I think I might put some like two forty fives on there. Yeah. Or, yeah, these are two sixty. Like two thirties. Two thirties, yeah. yeah. Some low pros. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they would look good on low profiles. Yep. Less air, so you'll get less flats. Yep. 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 So well, still... I gotta get boogieing. Alright, man. Gotta get home, so. Yeah, good making the trade. Thanks, I appreciate it. See you later, buddy. Let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, you too. You probably will. Well guys, the Ford's gone.